Mucho salutations. How do you like my little attempt at cultural appropriation? It's time for the flag bearer of human fortitude, your shield for public stupidity, the counterpunch you've been waiting for, the backlash you're counting on. It's Brian. I'm in and very glad you joined us for today's ride. So what do you say? Let's get ready to mortal up. And I can't tell you how glad we are to have you with us for episode 484. I know that's a lot of episodes, 484 of what we're now calling the 20-minute victory. You give us one seventy-second of your day, and we'll make absolutely certain that if you do give us that 20 minutes, we're going to mortal up and go in and get your magic. As I like to say, get your magic back. Today's episode, A Rapper's Wisdom, and we'll be getting to that in just a moment. But I'm Brian, wanted to say hi, see how you're doing, see what's going on, say good morning to you. If I'm not one of the first, then let me be, like maybe your first top 10 or top 15 people, to say good morning, see how you're doing. Tough day yesterday with the price of oil taking a dive, just all of it. Really tough day. Hope you're keeping your whips about, wits about you. Hope you're keeping your head squarely on your shoulders. And that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about today, keeping our head squarely on our shoulders. Because you can't go anywhere to social media. It's just getting tough anymore. You go over here, you go over there, one or two places, and this one's pointing a finger at this one. This one's pointing a finger at that one. Everyone's loaded for bear. Everyone's screaming and hollering. And you just got to, you think to yourself, is all that energy best spent fighting? Now, don't get me wrong. I believe we're built for the brawl. I believe that human beings, their backs are built for the corner. I absolutely believe that when, when it just gets the worst, I believe for many of us, that's when you're at your best. I'm not trying to be trite or cliche, but when things are the worst, it's your opportunity, at least you could say, to be your very best. And that's what I'm excited about. When people say, well, how could you be excited with everything going on in the world? Because I believe that everything going on in the world gives us the ability to rise to the occasion, to be the leader that our family is definitely counting on, but also to be the leader that the guy or girl in the mirror is counting on. You want to be that leader. And I don't know if we have a finite amount of energy, which you know we do. How much energy do we really have left over at the end of an hour, at the end of a morning or afternoon or evening, at the end of the day, if we're spending it? Now, I get it. Everyone's got a chip on their shoulder about something. Well, I've got some big shoulders, but I got a lot of chips. I understand that. I understand everyone's upset. Everyone holds a grudge. Everyone's ticked off. I get that. All I'm simply suggesting is venting that energy. Is that the best way to prepare yourself for the days and weeks ahead? What I think what we have coming in the days and weeks ahead. Is that the best use of your time? Is it the best use of your talents? Is it the best use of your natural resources? What, for a couple of likes? For a couple of retweets? I got to be telling you, yeah, we're here <laughs> on social media, but I'm getting a little sick of it. I got to tell you, right? Because I think it's siphoning off the very best parts of your energy. I think it's, it's, it's bleeding away the very best parts of who we are, which is why I was really excited about today's show. As you know, oftentimes, uh, <laughs> the night before, I'm like, oh, man, I wish I could do that show live right now. That would be great. And then they go, no, no, we'll wait for morning time. And today is most certainly one of those days. Let's go ahead and hop into it now. The title, or the theme, if you will, of today's show is a raptor's wisdom. Think about it for a moment. When you say uh, one, of the, one of the most eloquent birds, you often think of the bald eagle, the American bald eagle. When you think of the smartest, right, you hear all the time, the wise old owl. And then a lot of people are surprised when they learn that the owl, it doesn't shop at a drive-up window. It, it doesn't get its groceries. It's one of the most ferocious, most perfectly capable 
and cunning of all the raptors. So it always has struck me that the wisdom of the owl comes wrapped in a package of a raptor. So why is that, do you think? Well, I think a lot of people think, well, owls are very wise because they sit there very pensively. They sit very still. They got big eyes. They see everything going on. Great. That's a function of wisdom. Big eyes, seeing everything going on. Nice laid back temperament. But the other part, the flip side, the yin to the yang, if you will, is that the owl is a voracious hunter, is a cunning, cunning carnivore. So to me, it's the perfect blend of how to be absolutely at peace until you need to be absolutely not at peace, let's say. And How do we model the owl? We model the owl by letting everyone else get into the verbal debate. Everyone else get into the brawl. Everyone else into the fight. And then we react when we have to for the benefit of ourselves and of our family and friends. That's the beauty of the owl. And I would offer to you, that's the beauty of martial arts. You know, we easily could have done a picture here that says, uh, you know, the fighter's wisdom or the warrior's wisdom. Or, you know, we could have done it in any different way. And that is to say that they don't burn all their energy. They don't waste all their time. They most certainly don't siphon their natural resources because they want to pick a fight. I get it. All these people online trying to pick a fight. Oh, well, can you believe President Trump did this? Can you believe President Trump did that? And these people, their bias is so thick. And if you just walk them back, maybe they have a right to their bias. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Couldn't care less. You get all the people from the outdoor industry screaming and hollering, uh, right? And they get a chip on their shoulder that goes all the way back from when they moved the outdoor retailer show, which was this big show. They moved it from Salt Lake City out of protest. Great, groovy, peachy. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Except for this one little caveat. What are you doing to protect yourself? What are you doing to protect your own mental health? What are you doing to protect the mental health of your family? Or could you, like the owl, go, I'm going to be a good bit more reflective. I'm going to be a good bit more pensive. But when it's time for the talons to come, I'm going to bring it. And I'm going to bring them in a very formidable way. So that's what I would suggest that you and I could focus on. We could learn from some of these, some of the tea leaves, if you will, and say, How am I holding the very best parts of me in reserve? Now, it's addictive. I get it. You go over to Twitter. Somebody calls you an asshat, and you get to hop in. and It's like a drug. It's like heroin. It's like cocaine. It's like amphetamines, I I would guess. It's like, uh, what's the other? Opioids, I guess. Right? It's like a drug. It's addictive. It's like doing a shot of really good tequila or Johnny Walker Blue Label. Right? It's just, it's, it's like, wow. But then you got to realize, is that the best use of my energy? And there are countless studies. I won't go into the books now, although we could. I won't go into all the studies that say, well, you know, when it comes to your decision process, you only have so much of it. We seem to think that mental talent, mental vigor, we call it authentic vigor, mental vigor, that we just have an an infinite reservoir. Well, the scientists tell us now, doctors tell us now, countless tests tell us now, that's not true. We have, to, we have to hold our fire. We have to keep our powder dry. So when it comes to making decisions, it's like any other muscle. If you're busy running around, running and running, 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 and then you start your marathon, are you going to have energy left for when it really counts? And, and, and I think, not to be a naysayer, not to be a doomsday, although you're right for all those folks reaching out for having seen me on doomsday preppers, thank you very much. What I am suggesting is there's some real threats we could be up against. Yes, I know it's easy to jump on the COVID-19, the Wuhan virus. Or it's easy to jump on the bandwagon. You know, blame the bats or blame the bat crap crazy scientists that created this. However you want to do it. But there's some outside of that. There's some real threats. There's some threats to our economy. There's some threats to our power grid. You know, everyone's all excited. Oh, we'll stay at home and do at-home learning. And I think, okay, so we're not going to go back to school. Everything's going to be on the Internet. How much can the poor Internet take? How much could you take? We asked you to do a deadlift. We started loading bars, loading pounds onto the bar. How much add-on could you take? What happens to our electrical grid? Forget just about the Internet for now. Everyone says, ah, the Internet's down. We can run. What if the power grid goes down? It's 
kind of precariously perched out there. They're threats to the power grid, unfortunately man-made, and threats by Mother Nature. What if the power grid goes down? And you don't get to get online and tell everyone how outraged you are. I'm an outraged junkie. i got to tell you who I'm pissed off at today. Who cares? Well, I don't care, except, sorry, for one little caveat. Could you be using that energy to protect yourself and your family and your friends for whatever fate unfolds, whatever it may be? I could be totally wrong. Maybe nothing will happen to the grid. Maybe nothing will happen to the Internet. Maybe nothing will happen to the food supply. And yes, before I did a commercial way back when, as you remember, uh, if, you've, if you've ever seen that commercial, uh, you may not be a prepper now, but you will be. And what I meant to say by that is that are you holding all the cards? When you can't call on anyone else, can you call on yourself? And are you going to be able to call on yourself if you're busy bleeding, now I know, I'm thinking of uh, half a dozen people that I see fighting every single day. And I know they're thinking, oh, I've got all kinds of energy. I could do this all day long. No, you can't. You know you can't. The greatest minds in human science and medicine know you can't. That you have a finite amount of energy. And is that the best use of that energy? You know, we can go all martial arts on you and go, only cowards point figures. The bravest among us point fists. I'm not saying that. I'm not calling any, anybody any names. I'm simply rising. I'm simply standing in defense of you. Do you. Will you have the energy left over for when the ball falls, when the scales tip? If they do, if they don't, then great. You've saved that energy for something else. But I wonder, oh, well, we have to vent. Why do we have to vent? Well, it's good to get us out of it, get, us, get it out of us. Well, it's a popular myth, but countless studies have been shown punching your teddy bear doesn't help with any of the anger. In the moment, you might feel a little bad. You might feel a little better, but it's very, very short lived. What are you doing to preserve your reserves? Right. I'm not even trying to make a, a, a rhyme out of it. What are you doing to hold back so that at that time of true testing, you're able to rise to the challenge? And for me, that's the beauty of the owl. That's the beauty of the wisdom of the raptor. Is the owl's like, I'm not going to go and mix it up with you just to mix it up with you. I'm going to be ready. And when the opportunity comes, I'm going to swoop in. I'm going to be very silent about it. And the first thing my breakfast is going to feel are my talons. All I'm simply suggesting is that might not be a great, th or it might be a great thing for you and I to model. It might be a great thing for you and I to go, yeah, I love it. I love it. And I do love it. Mixing it up. You know, we've been fighting on this, this uh, Facebook war with someone that's always on me about, oh, well, you know, you're just so smart. Puts up a post this morning, misspells a word, right? So <laughs> you could use your energy. You could fire back. Or you could go, God love you. You should get yourself a dictionary, uh, you know, when you take a time out, when you send yourself to the corner from telling everybody else how wrong they are, maybe you should get a dictionary. Just saying, right? Maybe take a, a, a grammar course, quick, a little thing online before the internet goes down. As I said the other day, <laughs> right? What are you doing? And when you can't call on anyone else, can you call on yourself? And my main point in all of this today is to say, will your reserves be what you need them to be in that moment? Will you have the energy? Will you have the clarity of mind? Or is it going to be all confused by hatred? All confused by pointing the finger? All confused by anything other than the moment at hand? I don't give a good rat's ass what was done to you in the past. I really don't. I don't care because I don't care what was done to me. In this caveat, I'd like to ask you, what are you going to do to marshal those forces? What are you going to be do? What are you going to do to, to ready to defend yourself from the enemy if that's what fate decides to happen? What are you going to do? Sit around all day long on your keyboard. It gives people a lot of courage. Sit around your keyboard. I blame this one. I blame that one. I think that this one's got to go. That one's got to go. Great, 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 great. But are you saving enough energy for when it really counts? And that's my question. Maybe you can say, Brad, I got all the energy. Great. You're the one that all the doctors are wrong. All the scientists are wrong. All the, right? 
Maybe you're the one that just has an infinite reserve of natural resources that you can call people. This is so, it, it's just wild. You can call people names and you can spit all your venom, but you don't have to worry. You'll be ready when the call comes. Well, I'm here to tell you, you won't be ready when the call comes if that's where you're spending your day. Instead of using it to prepare yourself for whatever fate may throw at you, right? You don't see a lot of owls. Now, I don't know owl, so don't accuse me of cultural appropriation, right? I'll get emails now. PETA, can't believe it. People for the ethnic, ethical treatment of animals. We're all upset because you appropriated, culturally appropriated the owl. I've never seen two owls sitting on a branch going back and forth at each other. No, they got their eyes open. They're ready. They're stationary. They're like, hey, whenever it hits, I'm your owl. Right? And that's my wish for you, is that instead of all the finger pointing, we can, we can work on the blame later. But the balm of this particular moment in all of time is that what are you going to do to heal yourself so that you're ready when you're called? And as I said, that call could come in many different forms, especially in this day and age. So my suggestion to you, my question to you, is that will you be ready? Or will you be spent because you're so busy trying to get a couple of likes, trying to get a couple of people, trying to do this and that to dovetail with your feelings on social media. But when the horn blows, when the shot's fired, will you have the energy to do what it takes for you and your family and your friends? All right. Thank you so very much. We're going to get ready to get out of here in just a minute. Don't forget, you can head on over to mortalup.com. We didn't get to Low Life's Making Headlines today. We didn't get to uh, our Mortal Up winner for today. We'll try to get that tomorrow. Oh, and also, I wanted to give you a heads up on our walking around with the mortalup.com road signs, give you a little bit of an idea how that's going. But I, I really wanted to focus today on, will you have the energy necessary? When it comes time, like the owl, for you to alight off of that branch and go and get your lunch. Will you have the energy to do it, or will you look back and go, holy cow, I wish I had saved a little bit. I wish I hadn't been so quick to look to get into a fight with people on social media because I think I'm right and I think they're wrong. I know. I know it's fun beating these people back. I got gotcha. you. But my, my thought is for you and your family and your friends, will you have the energy it takes or will you blow it all on fights that nothing you say or do is going to matter worth a hill of beans? At the end of the day, when you look into the mirror, will you be able to say, I did what I needed to do to make sure that I'm ready, my family's ready, my friends are ready, my extended family is ready? And that is the wisdom of the raptor. Hold your fire, keep primed, be ready to go, when the gauntlet sounds. That is what I wish for all of you. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much for joining us. Like I said, we try to wrap these in 20 minutes. News you can use bright and early in the morning. Not news you can lose, but news you can use. Remember, our goal is to always make certain that your confidence is poised to make a comeback. As we say at the beginning of each show, you give us 20 minutes to mortal up, we'll go in and get your magic. We'll go in and get your great out. Till tomorrow morning, we'll look forward to seeing you then. I'm Brian Brody. Remember, join us over at mortalup.com. If there's anything we can do for you, please drop us a line and let us know. Thank you so very much for joining us. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.